Hello everyone, we will continue the topic subroutines and in the previous video, we created a simple subroutine with parameters in which we have two input, yes, two using parameters and one changing parameter and we have written the logic inside that subroutine. Before we cover the concept of call by value and call by reference, firstly, we will understand how to use this subroutine into any other program. If you remember, we covered, we have two types of subroutines. What is first type of subroutine? Internal subroutine. And what is second type of subroutine? That is your external subroutine. Internal subroutine is defined and used in the same program. If you see, as of now, this subroutine sum we defined in the if we defined in this program. Yes, we are using in this program. So if someone asks you, as of now, this is which type of subroutine? This is internal subroutine because it is used, it is defined and used in the same program itself. Whenever I will use this subroutine in any other program, for that program, this will act as a external subroutine. Generally, when we ask in the interview, okay, include programs are reusable, function modules are reusable, is subroutines are also reusable? Maximum time people will say no, subroutines are also also reusable. When you use the subroutine of one program into another program, that is called as external subroutine. So in this video, we will learn how to use this subroutine in another program. And then from the next video, we will understand the concept of call by value, call by reference. So what I will do, I will create a program. So I will go to SC38 transaction port. Suppose I will go for program three. Suppose I have a program in that program. I want to write the logic for sum of two numbers, but we already have a subroutine in that we have the logic for sum of two numbers. So why, why we should write the logic again? I will simply use this subroutine into this particular program. If you remember in function module also, we did same to same thing. We created the function module and we can use in several number of programs. Now I will give that title. Sum of two numbers. I will take the type as executable program. I will save it as a local object. Now I will simply, simply copy this two input parameters and one output parameter. I will activate and I will pass the selection text. I will pass first input. I will go for second input. Now I will not write the logic. We will simply, simply call the subroutine of this program into this particular program. So you can call by two ways. It is your wish how you want to go. We have two types of syntaxes. Suppose I am writing perform. What is the subroutine name sum? You want to use the subroutine sum of which particular program? This particular program. In the bracket, you can give the program name, but remember 
you we covered the number of formal and actual parameter should not change so we will go for same to same three parameters two using and one changing now i will simply simply write lv underscore output so you have you seen we have not written any logic we are just calling the subroutine sum of this particular program and we are going for two using and one changing just double click it will navigate to the subroutine of that program itself and whenever i will double click have you seen this is our logic so now what we will do this is one syntax which you want to try suppose i will put a breakpoint and show you i am going for input 20 and 10 i will execute i'll go to desktop this is our first input this is our second input and lv underscore output is blank these are our actual parameters i want to do i have to do f5 if i want to go inside the subroutine f5 have you seen now i am inside the subroutine which is in another program now what is pv underscore input 1 20 what is pv underscore input 2 10 and now we are making some pv underscore output is 30 and pv underscore output now we have lv underscore output is 30 now i will simply simply execute and we can see we have the result 30. So this is one way you can call the subroutine of one program into another program. Many times people rather than passing the name of the program in brackets, they will use this syntax also. I will comment this line. They will write this syntax. Perform some in program. They will use the keyword in program and they will pass the name of the program. So it is totally your wish which syntax you want to use. Both have same to same meaning. So you have to write in program program name or in the bracket you can write the program name. It is totally your wish. Now we will cover most important thing from the interview perspective also suppose simple example we are using the subroutine of this program into this particular program if i talk about this program it is an internal subroutine in this program now for this program this is a external subroutine because we are calling the subroutine of another program into this particular program. Just see. If, suppose, in the original program itself, I change the name of the subroutine. Suppose many times, yes, if we are not following the best naming conventions or sometimes if we change the name of the subroutine. Suppose, I am simply, simply changing the name of the subroutine from sum to sum one, suppose. And here also, I am going for sum one. I am activating the program. I activated the original program. In that program, we have a subroutine sum one. Now the question comes you are using the subroutine of that program into this particular program. Now, what will happen to this particular program? If I will run this program, if I will give the input 20 and 10, the system will simply, simply throw a runtime error. And this is the most common mistake which we will do. Whenever we are reusing the things, yes, it is most most important thing is 
Now in the original program itself, we change the name of the subroutine and yes, in projects, many times we do this if we are not following the best naming convention, but wherever we are using that, all those places will throw a runtime error. Now, what is the solution for the same? And this is the important question from the interview perspective. If someone asks you, I change the name of the subroutine in original program and I am using into other programs. So all those places will throw a runtime error. How I can avoid that runtime error? Simply, simply use the keyword if found. Most, most important question from the interview perspective. If you will use the keyword if found. Yes, you will not get the output. That is true because you are calling a subroutine which is not existing at all. But system will not throw the runtime error. System will check it is existing or not existing. But system will not throw the runtime error. Only thing we will not get the output. If I will run, I will give the input 20 and 10. Have you seen there is no runtime error? Only output is zero. So if found keyword will simply, simply avoid the runtime error. And just understand for a customer, runtime error is always an escalation. If output is not coming, yes, we can convince the customer that we will go for some code changes or something. But runtime error should never, never be there for the customer. Now, what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we studied how to call a subroutine of one program into another program. If we are using, creating and using a subroutine into same program, that is called as internal subroutine. Whenever you will use in another program, that will act as an external subroutine in that program. How you can go for or how you can call the subroutine of one program into another program, perform, give same to same name, and in the bracket pass the program name for which particular program that you want to use the subroutine of which particular program and pass the number of parameters. No mismatch because actual and formal should be same. This is one way. What is another way? Rather than passing the program name in the bracket, you can pass using the keyword in program. Now, after that, we cover the most important thing. If we change the name of the subroutine in original program itself, then wherever we are using, they will throw the runtime error. So never, never forget to use the if found keyword. This keyword will simply, simply help that you will never, never get a runtime error. So in the next video, we will firstly understand what is called by value, what is called by reference, and then we will go for complex examples of subroutines. So that's it in this video. Thank you.